Clip Studio Paint has a lot to offer when it comes to creating comics, and it's good stuff. So let's start exploring it right off the bat with the Panel Tool. Clip has dedicated tools to help you create comic borders and panels. You can customize every aspect of a border and panels from width, length, and so forth. For panels, Clip offers you pre-made ones that you can use as well as allows you to customize them to fit what you need exactly. As the shapes, positions, and border line, line width, line type of a frame all can be edited to your liking. And fear not about any quality loss as border lines are in vector. If you find the panel and border business overwhelming, Clip has a dedicated step-by-step -step written tutorial on how you can create these fellas with ease. It will sure help you make the most of all the intricate paneling and bordering features the software offers. Okay, I have my precious panels now, but I want speech bubbles. My characters have a lot to say. Okay, then here comes the Speech Balloons tool. Speech Balloons in Clip can be either made from scratch using a mix of tools like the Ellipse tool and the Balloon Tail tool, or you can use the array of pre-made balloons. When creating your desired balloon, you adjust the outlines, the inner fill, its opacity and tone options, the outline's shape and pattern, line thickness, and so forth. You can even use a tool called the Balloon Pen to completely freestyle the balloon. This pen is pressure sensitive, allowing for the creation of special and interesting balloons. All in all, Clip offers you both the ability to go about it the easy way and use pre-made balloons or create your very own. Of course, it goes without saying you can add text and modify the font and other run-of-the-mill textual preferences. Okay, you have the border, the panel, and the balloons. What about creating environments to help your reader understand where the characters are and further immerse them in the story? Clip has great tools for that with the Perspective Rulers. Perspective Rulers in Clip are grids and guides that help you establish perspective in its three types. One, two, and three points perspectives. You can also customize these grids to what you need them to be. This should help in creating an environment, making sure that your lines are correctly set and avoiding a wonky, crooked, and non-linear look. Okay, now you made all these great pages, but they're all over the place. Luckily, Clip has mighty comic organization features with the page manager and story editor. Essentially, what you can do using the page manager feature is pull up an extra window in the software that lets you quickly navigate through the comic pages you have. You can either delete a page, add one, or rearrange the order they're in. As for the story editor, it shows you the text used across all your pages. You can easily replace elements in the dialog, for instance. It can also be a helpful way to detect spelling or grammar mistakes. Not to mention, get an overview of the narrative of your comic and make sure it is coming off the way you intend. One thing to consider is that this feature is exclusive to the X version of the software, which is different from the Pro version in the way that it includes all the Pro features plus extra features for comics and animation. So make sure to keep this in mind before making a purchase. Celsus, the developer of Clip Studio Paint, has a helpful detailed guide on what you can find in each version. So be sure to check it out if you want to make sure you get everything you're being advertised. Next up, we have the Brush Engine. Clip Studio Paint is known for having a varied brush engine. This brush engine can suit whichever style you're going for. You can have inking brushes that suit different art styles, a thick inking brush with voluminous tapering at the end of each stroke for a western style comic, or a thin inking brush with little tapering at the end for a soft manga style. Whichever of these you need, you can either find them in the software's set of native brushes, make your own by customizing said brushes with the software's in-depth customization options, or better yet, browse through Clip's asset library that offers so many different types of brushes, some for free and some you can purchase with Clippy tokens, which is a virtual currency you can obtain by posting free assets on the store or buying a gold membership. The options of getting brushes are varied. Use or modify the default or get stuff from the store. This should cover all the bases for any type of comic creation, whether Western or Eastern. Speaking of brushes, line work is an important part of comic creation. This can, of course, depend on your style. Art bends to no rules, but majority of comics of all types 
have some form of line work that has a heavy presence and a style defining of this genre of entertainment. Clip offers you features that can help make line work easier, and that is the raster in vector feature. Essentially, what this feature is, is that it lets you use vector lines that are scalable and modifiable. You can modify the line's thickness and their shape after you have placed the stroke, making it so that you don't have to do the stroke multiple times to get it right. One con to this is that vector lines are very bland, but luckily, Clip lets you use these vector capabilities with a raster look. So now you can use your favorite raster brush, but much more efficiently to help you get through the countless panels a lot easier. Next up, we explore a tool that could be a lifesaver for those very detailed panels that make you want to pull your hair out. That is the decoration tool. Simply put, a decoration brush doesn't make a stroke when you drag it. It produces an image, like a drawing of a building or a chain. A comic artist can use this feature to get through the details of a panel quickly. For instance, you can use this free flooring decoration brush to get through a house scene quicker. What is amazing is that not only you can get help from the store with the other people's decoration brushes, but that you can make your very own. Alright, let's move on to the customizable workspace. Clip has features where you can switch from a workspace dedicated for comics to an illustration workspace. Clip does this because it can be used for many different things and that can be overwhelming if you want to focus on one thing. Clip understands this and offers you to switch between said workspaces that are pre-made or make your own. If you're a comic artist, it might not mean that you only need to use a comic workspace. You might need the illustration workspace to create covers for your comics or that one page where a major plot point happens and you need an illustration that drives the point home with over-the-top details. Either way, having these two workspaces set up can allow you to get familiar with them and build a unique workflow that suits you best, effectively rendering your process much more efficient. Clip has plenty of other tools for comic creation, like their screen tones feature that let you create your own or extract them from pictures, a smart fill tool to help you get through colored sections quicker, a customizable 3D figure to help you get a specific reference, and so much more. But this will be all for our video. Have all these features Clip provides convinced you it's a good fit for comic creation? Or do you find it lacking? Make sure to let us know your thoughts down below. Thank you for watching and we hope to see you in the next one.